USA Lite AT M3 gun. Costs 130 MP. It's a very early game unit that you can use throughout the entire game. It sports a 37mm M3 cannon at 110 range penetration of 27 and at 10 range it penetrates 82. But uh, realistically you'll be penetrating it at pretty far ranges because it is an AT gun. It is extremely accurate however and is great versus light vehicles and tanks. I myself like to use this towards the late game as a hidden unit to take out light vehicles. At the start, um, I don't use it myself because it is quite slow to move around. I went to buy the M380 gun. It's a cheap 135 MP, so you can basically get it off at the very start if you want to, but um, I definitely do not recommend you get it um, straight off the bat. You need as much infantry as possible at the start, possibly around three squads or so. Then after that, you may consider getting it after the third squad to just move it to the front. Um, but it does take a long time as you can see, this is the reason why I don't like it at the start because by the time it gets to the front it's quite late and the 2 to 2 Luke would, can quite easily run away to another flag. Depending on the map I suppose, if you have a map um, such as, uh, let's say, not farmland, maybe a map like Tramway or Urban Garden where you can shoot down one lane uh, one entire lane down to the enemy spawn. That's when I consider getting the M3. But on a map with uh, pretty wide, there's a lot of flags, this gun can potentially only cover one side and um, a good player won't let M3 take out their light vehicle. And when the medium tanks come by, uh, this is pretty useless. I like to actually buy this gun towards the late game. It's very cheap and can take out light vehicles uh, without you having to risk buying a tank because tanks, obviously, in the late game are a bit risky if you cannot afford um, something like a Pershing to take out a Panther. The M3 is the way to go. And also, it's got a very, very fast reload rate of 3 seconds, and it can take out a light vehicle much easier than your heavy tank can. The M380 gun has very, very high accuracy. Basically, as you can see the cursor here, you see the little arc moving higher, larger, and larger. If it stays still, it's pretty much pinpoint. So you can actually use this gun to actually snipe units of sandbags, such as MGs. So this is the MG here, I'm just going to point it just near the sandbag. Oh, there it goes, one shot. Lucky one. So it's a very fast reload rate of 3, and you can keep doing it basically to keep taking out units like that. It can work as a sniper. Look at that. Fantastic. The M3 versus moving vehicles, the same thing applies. You'll need to right click on it to let the AI shoot for you because it's hard to hit otherwise. So I'll click on that, right click on the 222, let the AI shoot the moving target as it is more, um, I suppose, quicker than you. you do manage to buy M3 gun early game and take out the light vehicles and it survives, you'll be facing off these vehicles P3, the G4, and the 4H. Basically these ones um, will be pretty hard to take out, or well, you won't be able to take out basically from the front as you can see here. The shell is accurate, but what you need to do if you're facing it from far far ranges, your range is about uh, 110 max, you can take out the turret or the gun. So that's the way you should aim, otherwise you cannot penetrate it. Let's have a look. I need to get quite lucky here. So you can see how hard it is to penetrate. And at that range, the, the P3 can quite easily take you out um, as well. So basically you aim at the turrets if you can. If I bring this a bit closer, it will be more penetratable. See with now, should be able to take, out, uh, take it out from the front, just below the turret. See here, crew injured, or down at the bottom. So just below the turret, or down the bottom. So this is for the G and the P3, by the way. There you go. With the H, there's no way you can actually take out the frontal. Um, you got a one sec. I'll just bring it across here. At this range, it's really close now, but you can see that the bottom half is too hot too defensible, but you can take it out the turret basically as well. So it's doable, but the enemy won't really get this close if they know what they're doing. 
Um, also though, for the H, all these tanks here are basically very weak from the side. So if you can take them out from the side, you can take any of these tanks out from the side at maximum range. But if, um, so I'll, again, I'll just mention, um, try to take out the turrets from afar. If they get a bit closer, you can take out the G and 3 at around 70, 60 to 70 range or so from hitting the below the turret or just the very bottom there. And the H always aim for the turret unless he turns his side. The M3 is also useful in the late game. The way I like to use it is, is if the enemy has a lot of tanks or heavy tanks that I don't want to fight with another heavy tank, I use the M3 to protect myself from the infantry, from the light vehicles. Basically these heavy tanks aren't really a big threat to my infantry. And because they went to heavy tanks, they would have less CP and less MP on the field to buy infantry, which means I have the infantry dominance and I can spam infantry more and pretty much outnumber him with infantry. But the problem with that is I need to protect myself from light vehicles like the 222 or the Lukes. And this is where the M3 comes in. You can take out a 222 or a Luke without the heavy tanks really getting a good shot at you. So in this scenario here, there's a lot of Panthers on the field. I don't really want to fight them. And there's a 222 that's going to mop up my infantry that's trying to cap the middle flag, pretend there's a flag there. Oh, but there's the M3 there. And um, it should be able to take it out. But you get you get the point there. Basically, the 222 uh, would have been taken out. And the M3 can basically go into safety behind these buildings. <laughs> 